Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 2, a post-nuclear role-playing game. We're going to jump right into it since we have a bunch of stuff to do. First thing that we're going to do is talk to Cass, one of our partners here. We're going to trade, and we're going to take all of his alcohol. Everything. One and two. And I'm assuming Rot Gut is alcohol. I'm not actually sure. And he's got 72 caps? Yeah, hand that over, pal. You don't need that. Shit's mine now. And trade. Okay, thank you very much. Now we have a quest to smuggle in some alcohol to this nice lady right here. I thought it was her, though, right? What's on tap? Um, How do we give her the stuff? Everything's synthetic. I actually was looking for some information. What have you got on tap? What? Okay, well, I'm not sure, but either way, we're, it, it might just be because... I'm going to reload this so we don't have to trade with Cass. It might be because we um, don't have 10, because it says we need 10. Okay, so in the last episode, we solved Gecko's power problem, but they have another problem. We'll need to sneak into the vault to record some data, although I think that's going to be very, very hard to do. But we should be able to become a citizen. Oh, wait, so then we don't need to. But wouldn't you not complete the reactor quest... But if you complete the reaction, the reactor quest, you should automatically be a citizen, right? So then why are the ghouls telling me to sneak through? Won't we be able to just go through? I'm not exactly sure, but we'll find out. You can bet your butt. You can bet your bottom dollar on it. So let's head back and talk to Lynette, who's absolutely awful. And she should make us a citizen, although I will save before we talk to her since she is an awful, awful person. Okay. Now, we do have a vault suit on, which a lot of people said does change our dialogue. Options. Hi, Lynette. Yes? What is it? About the Gecko power plant. Have you resolved the situation? I took care of Gecko's power plant. You shouldn't have any more trouble with it leaking radiation. So, you disabled their plant? It's all taken care- ooh. Should we lie, or should we say what really happened? No, I repaired it. Counselor McClure gave me the part I needed, and that was enough to get the plant running properly. What? He did? I suppose he granted you citizenship also. Fixing Gecko's plant won't solve anything. Those creatures, they cannot be trusted. What happens when their plant starts leaking again? Look, the groundwater isn't being contaminated, contaminated anymore, and no one got hurt. The problem solved. You had better watch your step in this city, citizen. I'll be watching you. One misstep and you'll be exiled. So? I'll just get McClure to get my citizenship back. He seems like the real, like real first citizen material. Do not toy with me, or I will make certain you never walk Vault City streets again. You watch yourself, first citizen. Goodbye. Okay, well, we're making an enemy out of Lynette. Let's go talk to the elderly man. I almost have a feeling like she's going to have him killed, which I really hope is not the case. Also, literally everybody was telling me to do doctor, to play doctor with Vic. Hey, 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 Vic. Wow, Freudian and slip there. <laughs> um, let me doctor you up real quick, pal. Stop moving. Literally stop moving, Vic. Literally, companions are the worst thing in every game ever. Literally, why are you moving? What is he? Oh, he's like going to my spot. Okay. Relax. Vic! Jesus. Alright, let's try Doctor on his leg. Vic looks healthy already. Wow, and that took some time away. But it doesn't matter, actually, because we can stay here as long as we need. Because we're a citizen now. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know if there's anything I can do for him. Okay, she's not talking to me anymore. Let's go talk to the elderly man. Okay, they're not going to talk to me unless it's morning, so let's wait until then. You cannot rest at this location. Why? Oh, God, is he going to get assassinated, like, overnight or something? I feel like she's going to actually have him assassinated. I don't know if that'll happen or not. What do you mean I can't rest at the... Huh? 
I'm literally a citizen. What What's happening? I guess I'll just try to keep doing Doctor on Vic then? So that it keeps passing time? It's past 6 p.m. time to you to return to the courtyard? I thought I was a citizen. What the hell? Okay, well, let's wait until morning. We do have that save if we somehow mess this up. I don't know what happened. They put me back here, though. Okay, I'm just going to reload that save. And instead of talking to Lynette first, let's talk to the old man real quick. He should be able to make us a citizen. Yes, was there something else you wanted? Can I ask you some questions? I repaired Gecko's plant. Excellent. I was worried that the radiation built up might force us to relocate. You're to be commended on a job well done. Here's your citizens citizenship papers. If you ever need anything, come see me. Vault City prevails, Counselor. Okay. Can we actually talk to him? I'm looking for the Gek. A Gek, as I understand, we only had one. Right? Supposed to. Okay, but it went to Vault 13. What happened to the Gek that broke down? Disassembled as parts were used for other applications. Uh, okay. Thanks for your time. So we need to go to Vault 13, and I'm not sure which vault this one is, actually, but we're gonna head into the vault for sure. Okay, now let's save the game since we're a citizen. And we'll talk to Lynette again. Yes? What is it? Have you resolved this? So, you disabled their plan? What? He did? You had better watch your step in this city, citizen. Do not toy with me. Okay, she is very, very angry. I'm not even sure what being a citizen really gets us. We can buy stuff, right? But the thing that I'm interested in is obviously visiting the vault. And I don't know if we're able to or not. Are citizens able to go down there? Because... I don't know. I guess we'll find out, though. Okay, let's cross our fingers. Is Vic still walking? Yeah, apparently Vic's fully healthy, but he, uh... He can't... He just cannot run. Alright, let's save the game. Actually, we'll save the game here, and we'll call it Made Lynette Mad. Boom. Okay, can we just walk in? Looks like they're letting me. There's always, like, multiple doors, though, so... Okay, we, we gotta make sure to check these, like, lockers. Okay, we got a doctor's box. Yeah, let's take that. And let's take this as well. I feel like we're close to our carry weight, but we'll keep moving. Okay, and what do we have going on in here? We need to find its central computer and then get the info off of it onto the holodisc. Um, let's just try the item, I guess. Okay, let's switch to no weapon. And then this. Okay, looks like that does nothing. Alright, let's talk to the people. Of course, this dude's in the way. Why did they literally not just make... it? They took the time to make a mechanic where you can push people. Why not just make the mechanic where the companions will not stand in a doorway? That would have made it so much easier. Okay, we have a thin young woman. She smells faintly of antiseptic. Oh, hello there. I haven't seen you around before. Are you a new citizen? Yeah, I just recently got my citizenship. Well, welcome to Vault City, fellow citizen. We don't see many new faces around here. I'm Phyllis. What's your name? I'm Autine. Mind if I ask you some questions? Of course. What would you like to know? Can you tell me where the central computer is? It's down on the third level, if I remember correctly. Haven't been down there in ages. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Not much reason to go down into the vault. It's mostly used for storage space nowadays. The only one down there is Martin. And, well, just between you and me, he's not a great conversationalist. Okay, thank you. Well, let's just get that done right now, I guess, before I forget. Surprised to be able to do something without having, like, 20 different things that we have to do first. Okay, so the central computer, central computer should be here. And if I were a central computer, where would I be? I guess this thing, right? Command seat, pedestal. Okay. Computer terminal is engaged some sort of diagnostic routine. 
Maybe that's it. I guess that's it. All right. I, why do I have a feeling that there is actually going to be a problem? Oh, man. This stuff. Oh, my God. Can we just get a bunch of free stuff? This, by the way, was the, was the exact layout. It appears to be locked. Huh. Well. Okay. We failed it. Let's try a couple more times. We have a hundred lockpick. There we go. Did we just hit the mother load? Dynamite? Alright. Geiger counter? Okay. Ooh. First aid kit. First aid book. Can we actually use that right now? Nope. Let's use it before I forget to use it, though. You learn new ways to heal injury. Let's take a look. Did our doctor increase? It might have. I don't remember what it was at. Need some stim packs, man. Oh my god, yes. What is this? Empty hypodermic? Sure. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I'll just take it anyways. Okay, a couple of antidotes, wonderful. That's a rad away, that's some rad X. Great. Okay, we have a crowbar, we have a sledgehammer, we have some tools. How the hell are we not running out of carry weight yet? And we have some flares and some rope. And I think that might be it. Let's run against the walls to make sure we're not missing a locker or something. Nope, looks like that is indeed it. Holy crap. All right. Finally, something good happened. Okay, let's go talk to the central computer now. Is that Martin right here? I'm assuming it is. Let's save the game. What's going on, actually? Whoa, ah! Whoa, easy there. You nearly scared the life out of me. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. That's okay. It's just not many people come into the vault. Can you tell me where the vault central computer is? It's just over there. It's the uh, the talking computer. What is it you do here? Just keep my eyes on thing and storage down here. Uh, make sure all the doors stay locked. Do you have a key? Uh, it doesn't matter because most doors are jammed shut anyways. What do you store down here? This is spare parts, uh, supplies, and, uh, ore. Ore? Uh, ore from Redding. Not so much ore anymore. Not much ore from Redding, why not? Don't know, McClure is really worried about it. Maybe I'll talk to him then, thanks. Okay. Let's remember to close this door, I don't think it'll matter, but just in case. And are there any more supplies that we can get in here? I'm not seeing any lockers or anything. Looks like that might be it. Okay, let's copy this data. You have logged onto the Vault City Central Computer. The interface seems relatively easy to understand. Everything seems to be broken down into archives. Search the archives for the location of Vault 13. The archives list only two vaults, Vault 8, this vault, and Vault 15, located far to the south. Oddly enough, there is no mention of Vault 13. You enter Vault 15's location into your Pip-Boy. Huh. I guess it's our next step, then. Continue to search the archives for more information. Search for any mention of Vault 13 in the archives. Okay. Search for any references to the Gek. According to the archives, there is no Gek currently in stock at Vault Cities. Amenities office. The people of Vault City seem to have used the only one they had to help establish the palace, the, the place when they came to the surface. From what you can make out of the archives, two Gex were part of entry vaults. Of every vault standard inventory package, only one was shipped to Vault 8, however. Cross reference the Gex shipment information. Due to a shipping error, it appears Vault 8 received a box of surplus water chips intended for another vault. The other vault most likely received Vault 8's second Gex. Return to the main menu. Log off. Okay. So Vault 8 has water chips. Vault 15 doesn't have anything, but it's our only lead. Is what I'm understanding. Now, let's use 
this on it. That does nothing. Well, how do we actually use this then? What? Reactor holodisc, yeah. The, light, the label on this holotape reads, Gecko Reactor Performance Data. This disc contains a string of numbers that mean nothing to you. There sure is a lot of information here, and it must be important to someone somehow. It weighs one pound. I don't understand. What do we do? We can use the computer. Insert Gecko Power Plant disc into the computer. Why didn't it give me that option before? That's weird. Reading disc, reactor data, atomic power plant, efficiency 43%. Okay, do you wish to optimize? Yes, begin optimization. Okay. Please remove disk, search the archives. Looks like we're done. Do we still have the thing? I'm assuming it we're good, but I need to make sure. Okay, it's not giving me an option, so I'm assuming it's done. Half the time you just don't know with this game though. All right, let's leave and let's make sure that, that the door's closed. Um, can we even close this door? Looks like it is closed, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's escape. Let's get out of here. And then we'll save Vault City for another time. Just have to do the quests as they come to us or else I'm just going to forget. I'm sure this doctor will give us a quest, though, I would bet. Okay, and you know what? Lynette might actually come out of here. Let's save the game again. I don't think that'll happen, but just in case. Like, she could she, she could show up outside. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Almost got scared that that's actually what happened. Alright, so to my understanding... Oh, by the way, um, a lot of people are just kind of, like, giving me the answer to a lot of things. The thing that you guys got to realize is usually by the time you write that comment, I've already recorded the next episode and have already like figured the solution out to whatever I'm getting stuck on. And not only that, but I really don't want to just know the answer to things. I'll, I'm going to figure them out. I mean, even if, even if it's going to take me super duper long, I'll just cut to the point where I figure the thing out. So I appreciate the help, but don't please don't just like flat out give me answers. Uh, you know, that, that ruins the entire point of the game and the let's play. Okay, let's save the game here. And we need to return to Gecko. And then we can go to Vault 15 and see what that's about. I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing, though, at this point in time. Vault 8, to my understanding, just has water chips, even though it's supposed to get a Gek. Vault 13 has one, but there's no record of Vault 13. So I don't really know. Okay, let's go talk to Festus. Let's go talk to Uncle Fester hold shift to see if we can see anything that we can pick up out here. I'm sure when it's night like this, it's even easier to see items on the ground. Okay, so we go this way. I guess I should equip my leather armor, by the way. And up here. I still don't understand why they made us, like, find the key card ourselves when I thought we would have to get one from Festus. Thanks for getting the data we needed from Vault City to optimize this leaky old beast. You're a sly one, no denying it. By Cracky? Almost as good a job as I could have done myself. Of course, if and you want to actually finish the dang job, just use that disc on the robot control terminal. Understand me? Well, okay then. Okay. So we have to actually finish it ourselves. We have to go to a robot terminal. I'm assuming it's this one here. Oh, that's a Mr. Handy right there. I just realized. Okay, we should be able to open this door because we have the red key card. Yeah, I know it appears to be locked, but I have the key card. Huh? Oh, that's right. It's just like the old game. It's just like Fallout 1. You had to actually like go into your inventory, activate it, and then now it's open. Yeah, so silly. And we got to do it for this one too. Jesus Christ. So unintuitive, man. No, no, no. What are you doing? What? I did not tell you to open that. What the hell? Okay, that one actually just opens. All right, what do we have here? Is it cooler in here lately? I, I don't know. Welcome to the RMR and RCT Station 3 function. 
Coordinated Commander Reactor Maintenance and Repair Robot. Okay, let me see what I can find out about that. Um, access code? Action? What? Okay. Function? RMRRCT? I don't know what any of this means. We've got three options here. Let's just do the first one. Incorrect security access code. Oops. Service procedure update not available locally. Huh? Initiate repair sequence. I guess I don't have the part that it needs. Initiate coolant, coolant maintenance. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. The logic circuits failed. I wonder what that means. I wonder what happens if I don't enter the jobs in the right order. Unit returns to bay of command prompt. Program contains terminal errors. I wonder about the logic current failure, though. Oh. Oh, we literally... Where do I need to remove the robot? Let me look up the procedure. Need to know where the main coolant shutoff valve is. Near the east wall of the reactor core. Controlled by a large red wheel. Okay. What the hell? I have no idea what any of that stuff just meant, but... I saw that it said that we need to... Okay, that, there's a wheel here. And we can manually activate the robot. Do we, like, give it this? What the f... All right, I... <laughs> whoa, 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 we were hit? Oh, no! Okay. Let's reload this save. Jesus. Let's head back to Gecko. I have no idea what this wants to be. We'll have to talk to Festus again. Try to understand what the hell he's saying. I... It looks like we take damage if we're in there. Okay, click the thing. Yeah, it looks like it it looks like we take damage if we're in the main reactor area, which means we need to like have the robot mess with it, but Festus isn't telling me what I actually need to do. So I'm not really sure. Oh, maybe we just literally use the Maybe we literally just use the data on the computer. I have no clue, man. This is so confusing. Uh, I'll figure it out though. Have no fear. Which is very, very confusing. Okay, let's talk to Festus one more time. Okay, um, if you want to actually finish the dang job, just use that disc on the robot control terminal. Yeah, so I guess we didn't use it on it, we just tried it. So, activate the red key card, boom, open the door, open the door. Okay, now this is the robot terminal, yes? What is this? Can't even use that computer. Okay, is there another terminal in here? I don't think so. Okay, let's save the game. And then we will use this. The optimization procedure was successful. You gained 2,500 experience points. Okay, then that must mean that we can use the robot for, like, the, the normal repairs. And we don't have to because we already did that. We already repaired through Festus, which I'm assuming is a chance. But we were able to get it done somehow. And then I have no idea. Yeah, I'm assuming. <coughs> so the only thing that I can think is that you can go in here yourself and activate the wheel. But you, t uh, but you take damage. You can repair this. In fact, can we repair this right now? We have... Oh, we only have 22 repair. You cannot repair that. Let's try it three times. Okay. Alright, well that's that. Uh, let's also re-equip the leather armor. Before we forget. And let's talk to Festus. We got like 2,500 experience points, which is pretty good for doing this. Keep that up and you may get to be just like me someday. Alright. Well, I'm assuming we're done here then. I don't know if there's any other quests in this reactor, but we got all the key cards. We fixed the reactor and we optimized it. I mean, that's a lot. 
I'm going to assume that we're done, although we have I, I have no idea. Let's go talk to Harold, though. Maybe Harold will finally reward us with something? Considering everything's good to go? What you need, youngster? Um, okay. <laughs> you know, it's not so bad now. You fix the power plant, and you get the info we need to make it good as new. <laughs> Golly be damned, ain't you something? Yeah, I don't like to complete any job halfway. Heck, if it weren't for you, them damn midgets in Vault City would have laid us out for the big dirt nap. <laughs> I couldn't let Vault City kill all of you. You know, you're a lot like what you need, youngster. And he still doesn't give us anything. Jesus, man. What do I have to do to make money in this game? I mean, I, I know that he doesn't have money. I can see that, but still. Jesus. Okay, let's save the game here. And I guess, for the rest of the episode, we'll just head to Vault 15. Vault 15. Let's see where it takes us. We should have at least one random encounter, you would think. Uh, excuse me? Well, I'm literally going to need somebody to tell me what the hell just happened there in the comments because I have literally no clue. What the hell was that? I, do we enter a minefield with a bunch of Brahmin or with a Brahmin explosive? I do not know. If anybody knows anything about it, Feel free to let me know, because that was odd to say the least. Okay, you encounter a band of raiders. There they are. Let's switch weapons. It looks like they're not attacking me. And here we go. Do they not have any weapons? What's our chance to hit this guy? 58, I'll take it. Okay, he was hit for 10 hit points. Uh, let's reload, and let's... Actually, yeah, somebody mentions... If we just stand still, we'll save the AP for the next round. I keep forgetting that, so let's do that. Okay, Sulik misses. And then he gets a knockdown. Very nice. Critically hit for 6 points. Raider was hit for 13 points. Vic was hit for 11. Uh-oh. Vic was hit for 12. Great job, Vic. Cassidy was hit for 11. Sulik was hit for 11. Okay, you know what? This ain't happening. Let's try this one more time. That's a super awful start, even if we do want to fight that out. The, the main issue with this Let's Play right now is I don't know where the hell to go to get weapons and or money. And I just... I don't know, I'm doing I'm getting a lot of high-end quests done, it feels like to me, but not getting rewarded for it whatsoever. Um so I'm not really sure what I can do, in all honesty. Slavers and some dogs. Jesus. Okay. Let's just try to run out of this one, if we can. We were hit for 20 points. Jesus. If they can survive this, we might be able to run away. God, Vic is so useless. At least Sulik knocks people down. Hey, what do you know? We were killed immediately. All right, let's try this one more time. If it doesn't work, I'll just keep at it. Holy crap. We're probably going to get a random encounter every single time. Considering how long a ways we have to go. Wow, right off the bat. A swarm of mantis? Oh, right over there? Okay. Well, let's try to just get to the edge of the map, although it's going to... Unless we don't activate combat, that'd be great. And it's, it might reset an encounter uh, timer. I don't know if there's such a thing. I don't know if it's based on steps or chance or what. 
Well, let's try to get to at least, yeah, Vault 15 without encountering something incredibly awful, which is probably telling me that I should probably not head to Vault 15 this early. Since literally everything is trying to kill me. A band of raiders again? Okay, but we might be able to get out of this one. And nope. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to try a couple more times. If it, it just, if it just doesn't work, I'll see you guys in a second. Because it seems like there's no way to get to Vault 50 without uh, going up against something that's definitely going to kill me. Okay, folks. This time we were able to get a caravan, like right around here. Which means if we do get another random encounter, I am... Oh my god, it's all the way down here. Oh, that's Broken Hills. Hey, at least that... Maybe that's a town? Ooh, we should head there then. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna let it continue until we're horizontal. Please, nothing bad. Oh my... G a caravan fending off some raiders? Jesus Christ, I'm not equipped for this shit, man! Okay, let's try to just leave. This is gonna take forever. This is going to take forever. All right, you know what, folks? I'm going to give up. It's very rare that I give up, but it just doesn't seem... Ah, well, okay. We'll let this play out. Just the raiders and caravans are attacking. Oh, you know what? I think this was... Somebody else left a... Con oh, my gosh. They're dealing, like, 69 damage. Okay, please don't attack my party. Please don't attack my party. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wait. No, we're going to play this one out. They're killing the raiders. They're slaughtering the raiders. Okay, yeah, we're gonna run. Because if the raiders don't win... Okay, let's run. Let's just run. If the raiders don't win, we can scavenge. Yeah. <laughs> Get next to me, party. I'm pretty sure the raiders are gonna lose this one. Guard is out of ammo for the H and K cause. Okay, let's just keep moving. Should just end our turn, I guess. Yeah, these guards are very, very, very high up. On okay, it's end our turn again. These guys have a lot of damage, is what I'm saying. Raider was hit for six. Guard is out of ammo for the assault rifle. Man, if at least one guy... Oh, we might have a whole treasure trove here, man. Okay, another raider was killed. If these guards turn on us, we're screwed, though. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, let's end combat. <laughs> no experience points, of course. Okay, if we hold shift, can we see the people on the ground? No. But we have a dead raider here. Oh boy. Oh my god, this is exact. I literally just said before this, like, the one thing we need is guns and, and ammo and stuff. What is that? A grease gun SMG. Okay, I figured we were at our capacity. Let's put the sledgehammer and crowbar away. And then we'll grab the gun. Boom. Okay. More caps. Another grease gun. And we are out of space again. Is there anything that we can afford to drop? Get these Nuka Colas out of here. Let's say we only need like one rope, right? And get this firewood, get the shovel. What is that? Day pass. We don't need that anymore, but I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. Anna's bones, I know we can do something with. Let's get rid of the spear, and we'll take the grease gun. Okay. And I need to see if actually, are there two people here or one? This is the one I just looted, I think. Yeah. And then there's another person, like, right here, I think. More caps. Oh, my God. What is that? Combat shotgun. Nice. Holy crap. Okay, I think there's three people here. So, let me just make sure that I get everybody. Yep. See? That's an assault rifle. Oh, my God. Okay, then we loot we just looted this guy. He's got nothing. And then this is somebody. Fortunately, none of these people have ammo. Okay, um, man, we have a lot of guns, uh, okay, and then I think there's only one more person here. You can't get there, come on. What, Jibby? No, not you. The person on the ground, will you people stop moving? There we go. Okay, 
Now, if we're actually able to take this gun, I would be very surprised. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. Now, let's take a look. What type of what type of ammo does this stuff use? Okay, so the grease gun 45 caliber, which we have none of, I don't think. Assault rifle, 5 mm JHP. All of this stuff has ammo, by the way. In fact, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So we need to hover over each gun and eject the magazine. You see? This was one of the tips that I read up on when I was starting this Let's Play. Oh my gosh. Okay, boom. Now we just make sure that each gun doesn't have any ammo inside of it. No! Okay, that's fine. Boom. And then this should be the last one. Boom. Okay. Holy crap. Now we have a lot of ammo. Okay, so here's what we need to do. All of these should be small weapons, I think, right? So this uses 5 millimeter JHP. This uses 45 caliber. And then this uses shotgun shells, right? <coughs> now this is what we have the most of. What is this? 45 caliber. So let's get rid of this. I don't know what I just did there. Let's get rid of this. Let's equip a grease gun. Um, can we reload it from here? No. And then let's equip a combat shot... Nope. Let's equip a combat shotgun. Okay. And we have two assault rifles... And a pistol. Alright, so first thing, we're gonna reload this. Good. Now we're gonna switch weapons. And we're gonna reload this. No, 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 no. Good. Okay. Now, I don't even think we want to give any of this stuff to our friends because we need all the ammo we can get at this point in time. So, last thing, can we trade with a merchant, Caravan Master? We don't like your kind, so buzz off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine with me. All right. Now, we need to save the game. Holy crap. That was like a gold mine. Look, somebody literally made a comment about that, by the way. What? Huh? You were warrant? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> okay, where's the closest? Oh god, no. All my companions might die here. Oh no, this is so bad. I literally saved after they aggroed onto me because I talked to the caravan master. If they focus me and not my friends, Oh, God. <laughs> They're gonna get slaughtered. They're all gonna get slaughtered. And there's nothing I can do about this. Oh, no. Okay, if I... Oh my god, they, they put you in this big giant area too, so it's so hard to leave. Okay, nobody's dead yet. Oh, one of the people's actually... We might be able to actually fight this. Caravan Master was hit and killed. Ooh, we might be able to fight this, for real. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. There's only three guards left, I th and then this person. Vic might die, but screw Vic. Vic sucks. Okay, can I tell how many, how much health these people have? She looks wounded, he looks wounded, and he looks unhurt. So the last person we're going to save for last. Let's go for an attack here. What, we got single, and then we got a burst fire. Let's do a burst fire on this person. 46%, I'll take it. She was hit for 12 hit points, and we can burst again, actually. She was hit for 32, how the hell is she not dead yet? Okay, that ends my turn. They're coming closer now. Vic was hit for three. Oh, the guard uses a stim pack. That's not good. But I think they're out of ammo. Oh my god. Okay, burst fire again. Guard was hit for 24. Guard was hit for 17. Burst fire again. Oh, and we got the kill on one. Okay, come on, knock him down. Vic was hit for two. Vic might literally die from punching. The guard used the stim pack. The guard missed me. The guard was hit for no damage. That's Vic. 
Vic did nothing, basically. What else is new? The guard mi- Oh my god. Alright, we need to reload this. Actually, should we just switch? Let's switch to the shotgun since they're right next to me. And let's use a single targeted shot. Uh, can I tell which one's wounded or not? Severe- Ooh, severely wounded. Okay, we'll just go for a targeted shot on this guy. Uh, the head. How? Can we do a single shot? No, it still requires... Damn. Okay, then we'll just, uh, spend our turn. How is that guy still alive? Or he only took one from Sulik. He took seven from Cassidy. And somehow he's still alive. He missed. He missed. The other guy's got a sledgehammer, though, so I'm worried for him. Guard was hit for now. That's Vic again. Vic missed. Guard missed. Dude finally hit me for... Ten points. That's a lot, but it's okay. Okay, come on. You need to die, dude. What? Guard was hit instead of guard? Whatever, that works for me. Oh my god, this guy's literally hanging on by a threat. Is he dead? He was hit for eight, but still not dead. And hit for nine, but still not dead. Okay, well, these guys are incredibly difficult to take out. But luckily for us, this is basically like a treasure trove. If we can somehow do this without Vic dying, we are going to be such in a good spot. Okay, go for the eyes, for fuck's sake, man. Dude, this is ridiculous now. And I, I can only have one shot. Okay, this is silly. Are you need to die, dude. Hit for five, still alive. Hit for four, still alive. Cassie reloads, hits the other guy. Okay, that guy was killed. So I must I must have been focusing the wrong guy. Vic, Vic was hit for two. Vic missed. I want to I wanna have Vic live, but... Okay, we were hit for seven. Dude missed. Okay, let's go for the eyes. Boom, down he goes. Okay, uh, let's run over to Vic now and save him. <laughs> Vic's probably gonna die from literally just getting pummeled. We're coming, Vic. Hang in there, pal. Oh my god, he's taking like three damage every time, but I'm sure he doesn't have that much health. He literally has not dealt like one, one point of damage yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's like dealing a little bit though. Just a tiny bit. Okay, nice shot, Cass. Hit her for nine. She's going after Cass now. Vic gets a cheap shot. Uh, what's our chance of hitting her here? It's pretty high actually. Let's go for the torso. Hit her for 12. The shotgun doesn't deal any damage basically. Okay, she should be screwed now because Cassidy reloads the... <gasps> Vic was hit for 21 and was killed. <laughs> by Cassidy. Oh my god, it wasn't even... <laughs> it wasn't even this guard, it was Cassidy. Okay, we hit her for 34, that is a lot. We just need to not be killed by our friends here. Okay, she was hit for six. She was uh, hit for nothing, Cassidy missed. If I try to hit her here, I think I'll hit Sulik, so let's move, like, right here. Let's go for the torso. Down she goes. Okay, for slaying your opponents, you earn 520 experience points. Vic has been killed. Let's reload this. Oh, we literally have no more, uh, no more ammo. Let's reload that. Uh, let's search Vic. Vic's got a spear. We're going to let him keep that spear in his death. Vic, uh, just to say something about you, um, you were pretty useless. Served almost no purpose. And that's about all I can say. So... Thanks. We got the Caravan Master here. Oh my god. We hit the Mother Load. We legitimately hit the Mother Load. This person has tons of drugs and stuff. Holy crap. Oh my Oh my god. Okay, we're at carry capacity, which means we're going to have to make some hard decisions here. Let's... What can we get rid of? You know what? We'll do this in the next episode. I have to remember that we're right on this person here. And then we have to loot everybody. We have to loot these three guards. This episode is going on for so long. I need to end this one here, folks. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll take a look at the rest of our treasure. Holy crap. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.